Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to swap out the mass airflow sensor on my Mustang. Uh, this is a quite straightforward job. It's just bolted on there with two bolts, but it also depends on uh, if you have a stock intake or not. Uh, if you look at my intake, it's clearly not a stock intake. Uh, and I did some, uh, I swapped it out, but the principle is the same. It's basically this part just after the air filter that is your mass airflow sensor. And um, I'm, the reason why I'm swapping it out is because it's kind of stalling and I have like lean codes popping up and I have some mass airflow sensor related codes popping up. Uh, previously, I swapped it out, but I did. Uh, I went the cheap way and I bought a mass airflow sensor that turned out not to be the greatest one. So today, I spent some more money on the sensor and I picked up a Delphi sensor. And this specific kit comes with the sensor. And just by looking on it, this comes like in a housing that is like the, the whole sensor is well protected. And besides that, it also comes with some hardware. Uh, in this case, it comes with two screws and it also comes with a uh, screw bit because there is a special hole on this drill bit uh, that goes down into the screws. So it's not going to work with a regular Torx. It needs to have that hole uh, for some reason. Uh, honestly, I don't see any like real purpose for it to have that. Uh, I'm going to remove it by using um, a small wrench and I just gonna put it, stick it in here and hopefully I will be able to just remove it with this one. Then I don't need to take the housing off. So start off by disconnecting the electrical connectors like that. And then you will have one screw here and the other is in the opposite side. So let's see if this will work out. Yeah, that works. So just get that one off. I'm going to see if I could reach the other one. I don't... Oh, I think I could fit her. That's good. So let's see if I could get it off. This is a little bit tricky. It would be easier to take it off. Yeah, so I decided I'm just going to take the housing, all the housing off. It was a good try to try to get it off. Yes by sticking down the tools here. That would probably work, but it would be a little bit hassle. So uh, to make this more visible for you, I decided to just take everything off. So remove uh, the air filter like this. Just put it anywhere. Instead of taking off the whole filter and everything, I'm just gonna take off the housing here. And I have a seven mil here. Just remove that. And then remove the other one too. I already done that and the whole filter assembly comes off like this and here we see the mass airflow sensor from here it's easy you just remove the old sensor and just use whatever tool you have available the old one goes out and then the new one goes in be careful with this area here and also keep in mind that it is directional so there should be like an arrow there is no arrow on this one but you could just look in the new one and you see there's an arrow for the airflow specifically and it also it only fits in one way as well so should be quite simple put the screws in there start to put them there by hand And then you just tighten it down. And I'm doing a little bit on the, f uh, on the top one and I go to the bottom one and I'm shifting them so that they get the same torque. That's basically all there is to it. Now you just have to uh, put the filter back on. That is basically uh, the opposite of removal. 
make sure that the mass airflow sensor is located a little bit upwards like this and make sure that it fits snug before we connect the connector i'm going to just clean up the contact with some simple contact spray and just spray it like that and let it drip off and i just taking some compressed air and blow off the excess and connecting it that's how you swap out the mass airflow sensor it's really simple it takes just a couple of minutes and uh, from now on you should notice that your car will not like stall you would not have the same issues as you had before but just to be safe save the old sensor because uh, if you need to put it back or if you're having problems with new one you could put the old one back uh, if you like this kind of content uh, there is uh, will be a playlist somewhere in the frame where you can see more videos on how to do stuff on the mustangs and there will also be an icon here uh, where you could click to subscribe uh, i release new videos once a week uh, thanks for watching and i see you later